The normal swallow is not spectacular. The lips are together at rest with minimal activity. The mandible moves slightly upwards as the teeth contact. The tongue tip moves up against the premaxilla, followed by the body of the tongue. This creates the correct arch form and good dental alignment. There is minimal compression of the TM joint. The reverse swallow starts with the lips opened and much activity from the lower lip and mentalis area. The teeth are not together. The tongue tip moves down and forward between the teeth. The mandible is moved backwards during the reverse swallow. The tongue body moves down and away from the maxilla. The action of the tongue distorts the upper arch. The tongue moves between the anterior teeth causing lower crowding and class 2 malocclusion. The TM joint is compressed as the condyle is moved back during each and every swallow. The mouth breather typically has the lips open most of the time. This makes the facial development narrow and long. The tongue tip pushes forward generally between the teeth, which do not contact during swallowing. There are many variations of this, but the elements are the same. The mandible moves back. The tongue action prevents correct arch development. A narrow V-shaped upper arch with crowding is the result. Typically. A class 2 division 1 with open bite is created by the action of the tongue. The backward movement of the mandible in swallowing compresses the TM joint causing TMJ problems. Reverse swallow and mouth breathing create this unattractive face. See the extreme contraction of the lower lip during swallowing. This is pushing back against the anterior teeth and the mandible. The tongue pushes forward on swallowing creating an open bite and narrowed arch form. The lower teeth are very crowded with lost sea space. The permanent dentition will be crowded. Once the child places the teeth for K in the mouth, the mentalis activity stops. The face looks better already with the lips together and nose breathing. The mandible is no longer pushing back on swallowing. The TM joints are uncompressed by the teeth of K. This is the principal effect of the trainer system and can be observed with every child with myofunctional and orthodontic problems.